Hello, I'm Marco. Welcome to my newest Hearts of RNG Let's Play. In this Let's Play we are going to play as Poland, uh, because Poland won the voting video. I'm going to... Um, this this uh, Let's Play um, is going to be... Um, I'm, I'm going to have to choose what I'm going to do with this Let's Play, because I read all comments as usual, as usual, as I usually do. But only three people expressed their opinions about uh, about what I should do with Poland, and uh, they are not. Um, let's say they don't agree. Uh, so I'm gonna choose what I'm what I'm going to do with Poland, and uh, my objectives for this let's play are to defeat Germany and uh, the Soviet Union, and I will uh, also try to level uh, the handicaps of Poland by conquering my neighbors. So. The only house rule that I have, of course, um, besides the no cheating and no reloading, <laughs> is to not is to conquer only countries that I can that I have a land border with them, and also I'm going to join the allies. So let's start this. Hope you guys enjoyed this, um, but I think that Poland has failed uh, too many times in this game. So this time I'm going to make it. Uh, uh, world power. So uh, usually start with the uh, problems. The most, the biggest problem with, with the country I, I'm I'm about to play, and in my opinion, is the manpower pool and manpower per month. This is the uh, we don't have enough manpower uh, even to mobilize our army, because if we went to war right now, we could not mobilize our army. We need uh, 324 and you only have 253 of manpower in the pool. So along with the declaration of uh, war in 1 of September of 39 uh, by Germany, uh, which is much bigger and uh, really uh, powerful in Hearts of Iron Tree, um, this is my biggest problem. Okay, um, Poland uh, starts the game with a very with a, for a minor country, the, it has a very big army. We start with around 130 brigades. If I'm not mistaken. So this is quite good. Uh, but uh, some of these are regulars, the headquarters, so I'm going to disband them straight away before I uh, go into the spy, uh, to the intelligence screen. Because these guys are taxing our IC and we don't want that. So, double check. Only up quarters. Probably I missed some. Just need one theater at quarter for now. Let's disband this one. And detach everyone to this core. They're also, uh, they are all moving towards uh, to um, our capital to save on supplies. That's why I'm going to change uh, the leader of the, my only headquarter to a guy that saves on supplies. I'm going to do something with the Air Force uh, that some of you might not agree. I'm going to disband this uh, this bomber. We don't, I don't need it. I'm going to keep the fighters though. Um, our navy is quite obsolete, but I think uh, that I'm going to need these uh, later on, so I'm going to keep them. So it's time for the intelligence screen. Uh, we start with the national unity of 69. This is not enough to implement all the better laws. So I'm going to give priority uh, to... Actually, this is not pri This is the only thing that I'm going to do with our, na with our spies, domestic spies until we have national unity of 80. As usual, I'm going to try to steal uh, technology from France and the UK, but I don't think that we are going to steal uh, many uh, techs. And I'll talk about it later on. Um, um, so let's go to the politics screen. Let's see if we have better ministers, ministers. Yeah, this guy will give us a uh, an increase of 5% in leadership, which is awesome. Let's change for this guy, because we are going to do a lot of attacking artillery. 
Well, I'm going to build mobile forces and in this at least a few brigades, so I'm gonna keep this guy, because I'm not... Well, on second thoughts, I'm gonna keep this. I'm not going to build, build artillery, but you will realize why I want to keep it uh, very, very soon. I'm gonna change these guys for a cruiser, uh, practical decay, but I won't build a navy. It's just a matter of personal preference. Preference, this guy is uh, the best guy that I can have. In my opinion, of course. Uh, the loss. Uh, well, the loss. I'm going to keep voluntary army at least until we are at war, because uh, units are much cheaper built in the voluntary army. I'm going to go back to full civilian economy. The reason is quite simple. Uh, we don't have. Uh, if it wasn't for the of uh, Poland starting with basic mobilization, we would be able to fire the prepare forward decision. Uh, almost all miners start at uh, full civilian economy. I, I I can only think of this as um as a way to trick the player and uh, to not be able to uh, expand uh, early on because um, Poland is not really a major power, even though uh, for a minor power our, our base I see is very very good. So like I said, I'm going to uh, put this at full civilian economy to be able to fire the prepare for our decision. That will reduce our neutrality. I'm also going to reduce, uh, going to put my uh, training laws into minim minimal training, at least for a while. So that's it for politics. Technology. Well, uh, for technology, because I want to research armor and uh, maybe, well, not maybe, I'm going to after uh, heavy armor, so I want these techs. Uh, this has to be done uh, in day one because our practical sucks. And uh, if we don't research these non-stop, you won't have um, time to build heavy armor before the war. The next, next thing is uh, a major problem, agriculture. Industrial efficiency is also good. And I'm running out of leadership already. We really need... Uh, not this, sorry. We really need this. We also need the infantry techs, but I think that these techs have priority, at least for now. We are going to attack, so small arms is uh, much more important, light artillery, followed by this and then this. And that's all for uh, research, we don't have... I don't have enough uh, leadership for more. Education is also very important. So uh, we are going to research these and uh, the rest will go into spies. Yeah, tough, tough choices. The tanks are the only ones that cannot wait. And operation level organization. So, this is me. Oops, I think armor, no. Okay. So, I'm happy with the research. Um, let's go to production. So I'm going to upgrade um, as playing as Poland and the uh, handicaps that Poland has. I'm going to upgrade. I don't have any problems to upgrade my calf to light armor. So let's do it. I have more calf. Nope, just infantry and the mountain. So. Um, it's prioritize upgrades, and the reason that I'm upgrade and, uh, prioritizing upgrades is because our infantry practical sucks. And we are not going to build infantry uh, for now, we are not going to build it. So that practical will go down and the amount of IC needed for the upgrades uh, will increase. So it's better to upgrade now. And um, 
because we are going to war very soon. We need uh, at least the uh, we need the best infantry uh, as possible. Here's the thing: I'm not going to build artillery, but I'm going to build anti-aircraft anti anti guns. Anti-aircraft guns. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that right. It's probably the second one. This will take a lot of IC, but we need to increase our artillery practical, practical that uh, it's at two. The reason is quite simple. We need to improve the the, the rate uh, that we that we research a light tank gun and medium tank gun to be able to uh, unlock every tank the heavy tank brigade. So. Um, this is this is all as as use as useless as building um, anti-tank uh, guns, but uh, uh, brigades. But I'm going to do this anyway. What else? Uh, so let's go to diplomacy. I'm going to align to the allies, and I'm going to join them as soon as I can. But that will take a while. I'm going to sell. A fuel to France. Mm, six units of fuel. Just hope they accept it. This will also make me align slightly faster to the Allies. What else? Well, uh, later on, uh, when we have money, because I need to play with the laws, I'm going to buy stuff. I'm going to buy rares and uh, metal from the Soviet Union. I think that's it. Diplomacy production. Well, I would love to. I'm going to do something different in this let's play. I'm going to build armor cars. A lot of armor cars. Because I don't. I, I want uh, some spearheads and uh, I don't have a uh, leadership to unlock self propelled artillery. So, um. My spearheads will be uh, at least at least armor, but now we don't we cannot we don't have armor, so my spearheads will be like this. When we have armor and oh, and especially heavy armor, this unit will be so hard, the, the softness will be so low that most uh, German units uh, can barely scratch it, and also their uh, air force, the only units that can uh, do a significant amount of damage to heavy armor plus three armor cars are the close our close air support uh, um, tactical bombers and multi rolls can barely sc scratch this unit. Of course, they can do some a bit of damage, but not as much as they can do to um, units that are much softer. Another reason for having armor cars is because they have a, a decent. Uh, very decent soft attack, and they increase the speed of uh, of this uh, division. I'm not going to put infantry here, nor cav. Cav would be good because cav is almost as fast as um, heavy armor, it's because it's very simple to increase the softness of the U this this division. Uh, at this point, this division has a width of two, and um, I only only had a. Um, well, I'm talking too much. I will not. I didn't want to talk so much in the beginning of this let's play, but uh, I guess I have to do it. Uh, I only uh, add um, a, a mechanized division or um, or most likely a motorized division early uh, when I have researched the um, spearhead doctrine that reduces the combat width of armor. Until then, I don't think there's much point, uh, not even for combined arms uh, bonus. So let's go. I think it's already said too much. I'm gonna play at speed four uh, for the first days of this. I'm gonna reorganize a few things and uh, do uh, some other deals with the AI. Okay, I cannot change my laws yet. I so I also have to reorganize the the army, the leaders. I change the laws. Not yet. Next day. Okay, no more logistics wizards. So 
Okay, so let's go back to want to sorry to uh, full civilian economy. Next day we'll be able to uh, implement. Nope. Thank you. But no. Thank you again um, to fire the prepare for our decision. Okay, thank you. So now our uh, neutrality that started at uh, uh, 75 will now drop. At minus 0 0.20 per day. Let's speed this up. Okay. Can okay, now change this back to. Now we have full mobilization, which is awesome. The neutrality is already dropping. We can have a look at production. Yeah, it sucks. Not enough money. So next thing in line is to change this to mixed industry. Okay, I need this, but I also need the light armor, so let's go. The operation of the Rhineland. Okay, so I'm going to change this to minimal training. And I'm going to prevent these guys from reinforcing. I was already doing that. Uh, nope. Okay, time to change this to... What? Yes, I already did it. <laughs> I'm not very good today as usual. Okay, so time to deal with these guys. I want to... I want to buy metal. I think that I need, I'm going to need around 23 of metal or 24. Okay, 20, 23, just hope they accept it. Thank you. So... Need 10 spies to send to the Soviet Union to reduce my neutrality. Okay, let's do it. Um, uh, this is too damn important to waste more time. Increase threats. So, we should now be reducing our neutrality by minus 0 0.27 each day. It's working. Reduction. Go up there. The upgrades, uh, the amount of upgrades is uh, going down, which is good. So, you now have spies to send to friends. Just hope they manage to steal something useful, which I really doubt it, but sometimes we, we are lucky. Well, I'm saying this because um, and I was forgetting to say it, uh, but I remember it now. Uh, because Poland starts the game with not, not many techs, but it's not really an, uh, handicapped in terms of technology, like other miners are. We have a few doctrines here, which, not, which is not great. But um, the industry is also not very good, but we have agriculture. We have a few levels of supply production, uh, we have even have these. We can build fighters, uh, we can build bombers, and, and surprisingly they are up to date. Uh, we can build destroyers, and uh, we have light armor, we have some levels of anti-tanks and artillery. So, um, we also have a 1918 infantry, so the higher the, 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 the amount of techs that the country starts with, the less the chance of stealing technology from the majors. So. Let's go. I'm, go. I'm going to do a, at least 25 minutes for this first episode because I talk too much. No, thank you. So it's... no. Oh, by the way, this reminds me, if I wanted to um, buy something from a major country, I could not do it because we are right here in the middle of the triangle. So we cannot buy anything from major countries when that happens. 
no matter the amount of money we give them it's simply impossible so I'm going to try to buy uh, rares from these guys not again not for trade agreement how much money do we have left? Okay, I'm gonna buy as much rares as our money allows. Awesome. Okay, that's it. We need to start. Uh, we need to uh, raise another ten spies to send to the UK and start to research. And um, I mean, uh, put the, uh, most of this research, uh, this uh, leadership into research. So let's go um, next to wing. But I'm going to leave at least for now um, almost two points of leadership assigned to spies. I want to have a, a healthy amount of spies uh, to deal with the losses in the Soviet Union, which I expect to be very high. What do you want? Do you want metal? Uh, uh, energy, yeah. I said metal, but I was thinking about energy. Whatever. I don't have enough IC for this. Screw it, I'm gonna build a few. Okay, this is not enough. Okay, I'm gonna settle with this. What do you want? Okay, you can have it. So we are making money, almost uh, one man, one uh, per per day. That's enough. I don't uh, want to buy anything else. So the first anti-aircraft, uh, useless anti-aircraft, uh, ready. Increase our practical a bit. They are not completely useless because they increase our practical of artillery. They build quite fast. So how's our neutrality? Come on, forgetting about this. Another big mistake. I have this available for uh, months now. Whatever. I usually uh, keep an eye on these uh, checks uh, when a new um, when new laws are available. Not this time. Not a big deal. think that we can still achieve our objectives. Okay, first light armor are ready. I'll put, the, put them in the mountain divisions because their piercing sucks. So let's build more light armor in reserves. We have to Okay, so now we have a decent amount of spies.
Okay, popular front. Another anti aircraft uh, weapon. Also practical. It's rising. So let's keep this keep this up. Keep doing this. In October we're probably going to be able to declare war on the um, because our neutrality will be at zero. So let's make this a 30 minute episode. Okay, production is going smoothly, which is good. The uh, civil war started in Spain. Major interventions as usual. Another anti aircraft gun. Light Armor Brigades Has production going Very good Our spies are holding on Okay, but I'm gonna reserve at least two of these uh, brigades for uh, spearheads Let's build another 5 armored cars. Can upgrade, but not uh, reinforce. Agriculture advance. Cool. Area researching small arms. And our neutrality is going down very, very fast. Need the armor cars, please. December. So I should start thinking about um, mobilizing. I tank engine, awesome. More anti anti aircraft guns. is ready. I think can, of course because our utility practical is better than uh, our armor practical. Nope. Almost as, almost as good. Well, I guess I need to research other stuff. But I also need spies. Awesome. Can I start uh, working on a medium tank brigade? As our neutrality, 15. 
So you have a bit of time. And uh, our time is up. I'm gonna play until the end of August and uh, stop there. Okay guys, uh, thank you for watching and uh, take care.